What's good with y'all, man? So today, we are going to be going over the top five abilities on defense in Madden 21. So, let's get right into it. Alright, so for number five, we have Flat Zone KO. So basically what this ability is, uh, goes on pretty much corners. It's, it's just, it's improved flat coverage. And obviously, we're, people, we, we don't call a lot of flats, you know what I mean? Some people don't, some people do. I don't call them as much, so that's why I don't I don't use the ability, but if you like to call a lot of like cover two, shit like that, you're gonna definitely want to use flat zone because it's gonna help you out a lot in the flats. Come on. Alright, so next for number uh what do we, uh, number four. Yeah, number four. We got deep deep out zone KO. This is basically your corners on a deep blue. That's basically what it is. And, and, and this shit, I don't know about me, y'all, but for me, I got this on Rod and Asante, and they just get so many more picks, I feel like, with this show. Like, I feel like if you run cover three, you have to have this on. This, this is a must for cover three, 100%. Or even if you don't, I feel like you, you want this on your corners. Because if they're on a deep blue, man, and they, they try anything, anything, like, the reaction time speeds up with this ability, I've noticed. Like, if like let's say they're in a deep blue but like they're not really like let's say like how the fuck do i explain it they're covering someone on a streak right on that deep blue boom 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 but then someone tries to like a corner but it's kind of like i don't want to say near them but like you know what i mean right in the vicinity their reaction time just fucking speeds up and he's ooh, go crackhead moving crackhead mode to fucking get over there and try to get that ball and i run i run almost cover through almost every fucking play so for me this is a must all right, so for number three, we got Run Stopper. I don't have it on any of my guys yet. I, I would like to put it on Adrian Wilson and Bob Sanders. If you don't know what Run Stopper is, it's, you know, you damn near get an instant block shit on anybody. Well, I won't say always, but for the most part, it's instant block shit, you know what I mean? And I would love to I would love to use this. Put this on Adrian Wilson and Bob Sanders. Put them both in there as, like, my linebackers, you know what I mean? That shit, my, that shit would go crazy. I ain't going to lie. So, if you have run stop rate, let me know. Is it really that in a bag of chips? Because I know it's good, but, like, I don't know if it's, like, overpowered good. So, that's why I put it at number three. Leave it in the middle, you know what I mean? Because, you know, the run is still fucking crazy, you know what I mean? Like, in, like, I feel like with run stopper, you would just be able to fucking destroy the run, you know what I mean? All right, number two, we got Acrobat. Basically, with Acrobat, uh, some people like to put it on all like, corners and safeties. You could do that. I had it on everybody, but I kind of took it off. Just because I would, I like to switch around my abilities and try everything out. Basically, what Acrobat is, your corners, safeties, you know, all them people, they're gonna, they're gonna do, they're gonna work for that pick a little bit more. They're gonna put that extra effort in to get that pick. And I didn't notice they definitely did do that. And I don't know how I want to work my abilities around just shit. Like, what I, what are everybody? I'm still testing lab and a lot of shit. You know what I mean? But Acrobat definitely deserves to be number two, just because Lurker not in the game. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not in the game. You know, you could put Lurker on him, but you have to use it fresh. You know what I mean? So it's like Acrobat is definitely good for, you know what I mean? I, you're like, let's say like your corner is just a little bit behind the receiver, but he, if he could, he could jump in front of that ball and get it, get that pick. That's basically what it is. I think you'd want that. All right, number one, we got Edge Threat. I mean, we've all went against the, the, the you know, the passers was crazy last year, this year. It's looking like it might be crazy again. Maybe. I don't know yet. But. Because I know me. I got. I run two 90 offensive linemen. Right left tackle. Right tackle. With edge threat protector. And I don't feel like it helps. I don't feel like it does shit. I still see instant block shits right around. Boom. And edge threat. It's a beast. You know. You get two guys with edge threat. Yeah. You're, you're cool. And that's what I need to do. I only got one right now. I got Doomerville. I don't know who I want to get from my other one yet. I'm still, you know, debating. New promo coming out Thursday. We're going to see what's happening. So, I don't know yet. But having two edge threats, yeah, that's a must. And this shit's three ability points. But I don't know. Like, like I think, like, the higher, like, old guys overall is with some of this shit. I think the ability point actually goes down. I don't know. That's my theory. So, you might be seeing, you know, two edge threats, a lot of acrobats, run stoppers. It, it might be crazy this year, man. But uh, those are the top five abilities, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. We uploading every day. You know the vibes. We streaming every night. And I'm out.